Hey everybody, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed, the second part of the final arc mission. I just finished up doing the civilian, saving the civilians. As you can see, that part is done. All I'm doing now are the two informants, and then I'm going to actually go and do the last assassination and show you the pretty much oh, the cutscene. So let's Demons get this done. After me. Demons with a black cross. They want me dead. Me. Can you imagine? You see them? We've Tell already them heard this in the away. last episode, as you know, I have a, my child having a hard time with these, understand. because Please, I gotta be careful not to get caught, I will have something for you. and get back to these assholes, so... First off, one's right there. Hold the B, hold the B button. Get away from me, bitch. 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 I don't care if you have any don't have any money. And now I gotta kill. There's one. Oh yeah, um Okay, that was quick. <sighs> you know what, I'm actually thinking about just doing the assassination. Yep. Just going and doing these off camera. Because I'm starting Demons to really get pissed me. off Demons with, these. with the black cross. Yes, we know dead. black cross I have me. to kill. Can you imagine? If you Suck see them, up, cream puff. tell them to go away. But yes, use again. Me. It's the only language demons understand. Please, come back as fast as you can. I will have no. something for you. No, they also understand money. What? Because I want to get this done, pretty much. Leave me alone. I can't get, I can't do this one. Can't do this one with that pile of bodies right there. I'm done. I'm going to the other one. Fuck it. Seriously, this is starting to get really irritating when you can't do much. I don't care. I sincerely do not care. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm actually going to uh, pretty much cut it right here just to the end. Okay, I finally got that. The first one was a drag. I had to replay it like five times. This one was actually more simple than the last one. I literally just had to walk all the way around. And as I had thought before in the last episode, I had to help that civilian first. So it was just a clear way for me to walk in. Killed him, walked out, and the other one was just waiting for me. So, the first one just told me the positions of the guards that will be there. And I don't know what this guy will tell me. I just got it done. Literally, I am about to be done with it. And then we're going to go in and do the... <coughs> excuse me. We're going to go do go back to the bureau, get the information we need on um, the assassination target, and get the our lucky feather, and you are be a ready lucky to man. go. <coughs> you are alive, and I am still an Akka. Here is what I have to tell you. The only thing more dangerous than a drunken sailor is one who is also angry. I know it does not seem like much, but with your wisdom, I am sure it will help. An angry drunken sailor. Any drunk sailors? Oh... I knew it! The drunk one! There. Fuck all you guys. Hello. Now we gotta get back to the bureau. I'm wondering something sad I found out about this um, part of Akka. There are only there was only there was only one um, group of priests. 
in the whole place. I thought that was kind of strange. Kind of odd. It's kind of funny, too. Of all these sinners around here, there's only, I uh, have like, what, like, four priests? I mean, that, that's kind of hilarious to me. Especially with all these guys walking around with crosses on them. I mean, it, it's kind of funny. What's that? What is that? Oh my god, I ran right in front of a... Right in front of... Regards. A few coins, all right. A few coins. Fuck you, lady. I am not the person to ask for coins. Unless you have a contract for me to kill someone, and you have good reason to tell me to kill somebody, that's the only thing I can give you. Alright, let's get back in the bureau. Yeah, okay, it's, it's, someone's playing with bottles. Greetings, oh brother. God. How fares your search? I've learned all there is to know about there. my target. Share your knowledge with me, then. Sabrand is said to be consumed by fear, driven mad by the knowledge that his death approaches. He has sealed the docks district, and now hides within waiting for his ship to arrive. This will make things dangerous. I wonder how it is he learned of your mission. The men I've killed, they are all connected. Almuallam warned me that word of my deeds has spread among them. Be on your guard, Altair. Okay. Thank you for my feather. Of course, Rafi. Thank you for my feather. But I think it will be to my advantage. Fear will weaken him. Fast forward in yeah, to a more recent one. My abilities, my abilities, this ain't gonna go too well. This is actually looking like a really short episode, which I actually kind of feared. Alright, let's get over to this thing, which is right at the docks. Why would I do that? Man, if only I could free run like this in real life. Hell, if I could free run at all in real life. You were not allowed to. <laughs> Don't let them see me. Oh, and yeah, a flag. I lack the flag. The flag's a nah. Nah, it's a flag. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I came out of the wrecking ball. <laughs> yep, thank you, pal. <laughs> And we pick up this guy from more nice. Let's get over here and see what this guy has to do. Yeah, there's a lot of drunks. And here we are. You are mistaken, Master Sibrand. I would never propose violence against any man, and, and most certainly not against you. So you say, and yet no one here will vouch for you. What am I to make of this? I, I live a simple life, my lord, as do all men of the cloth. It is not for us to call attention to ourselves. Perhaps. Or perhaps they do not know you because you are not a man of God, but an assassin! Never! You wear the same robes. If they cover themselves as we do, it is only to instill uncertainty and fear. You must not give in. Are you calling me a coward? Challenging my authority? Are you perhaps hoping to turn my own knights against me? No, 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 no. I, I don't understand why, why you're doing this to me. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't recall accusing you of any wrongdoing. Which makes your outburst rather odd. Is it the presence of guilt that compels a confession? But I confess nothing. Ah, defiant to the very end. What do you mean? William and Garnier were too confident. And they paid for this with their lives. I won't make the same mistake. If you truly are a man of God, 
then surely the Creator will provide for you! Let him stay my hand! You've gone mad! Will none of you come forward to stop this? He is clearly poisoned by his own fear, compelled to see enemies where none exist. Seems the people share oh, my concern. Shit. Here we go. What I do, I do for Arkle. Oh. oh. Stay vigilant, men. Report any suspicious activity to the guard. I doubt we've seen the last of these assassins. Persistent bastards. Now get back to work. Okay, he has the helmet with the horns. He's the devil. And they throw him through him in the water. Where are they sending him? First time I've seen a boat. <laughs> Alright, my target. Moving further and further away. Are they going? Where are they heading to? Well, it's much for yourself, Oh, he's going to big ship. Fuck. My guy can't swim. When you have been exposed, he's a dumb fuck. killing some of your pursuers will make it easier to escape. I know which way to go now. He's going to the boat. Which means I gotta go this way. He's going to the big... Since we... Yeah, see, he's going to the big boat. Kidding me? I mean, of all the times to fall, selecting you're, you're gonna the hidden fall fight will allow you to quickly dispatch. I mean, I've seen people fall off off piers before and catch themselves, but this dumb motherfucker can't even catch himself off a four, off a not even off a two foot drop. I mean, I've seen dipshits in my day. Altair, you're taking the cake here, pal. And who has ever heard of an assassin that can't swim? I ask you. Oh, my God. 
You'll be safe now, held in the arms of your god. Have my brothers taught you nothing? I know what waits for me. For all of us. If not your god, then what? Nothing. Nothing waits. And that is what I fear. You don't believe. How could I, given what I know? What I've seen? Our treasure was the proof. Proof of what? That this life is all we have. Linger a while longer, then, and tell me of the part you were to play. A blockade by sea. To keep the fool kings and queens from sending reinforcements. Once we... Once we... Conquered the Holy Land? Freed it, you fool. From the tyranny of faith. Freedom? You worked to overthrow cities, control men's minds, murdered any who spoke against you. I followed my orders. Believing in my cause. Same as you. Thank all the people who made all this possible. Um, the first assassination, I don't remember your name. The second assassination, I don't remember your name either. Altair, and this asshole. you've caused quite a stir. I've done as requested. Sabran's life has ended. So it is. So it is. You should ride for Masiyaf and inform Al Muallim of your success. Yes. I should return and speak to him. Of this and other things. Is everything all right, my friend? You seem distant. It's nothing, Rafiq. Just a lot on my mind. Talk to me, then. Let me help. I need to make sense of this myself first. But thank you for the offer. It is the men you kill, isn't it? You feel something for them. How? Ah, my friend. You are not meant to enjoy these grim tasks. Regret, uncertainty, sympathy. This is to be expected. I should not fear these feelings. You should embrace them. They are what keep you human. What if I'm wrong? What if these men are not meant to die? What if they mean well? Misguided, perhaps, but pure in motive. 
I am but a Rafiq, Altair, and such things are beyond me. Perhaps Al Mualim can help you to make sense of it. Yes, perhaps. Thank you, Rafiq. It is my pleasure to have served with one as skilled as you. Seriously, what the fuck is that book? Every time I do something, they pull that fucking Fast book out. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Alright. And that's a complete DNA strand of arc and of uh, yeah nope and we're getting getting pulled out not a lot of time Vic. understand that it's never a long time wherever it's hidden time to retrieve it I'm working on it and when it's done he'll be taken care of I want that progress report by tomorrow morning I've got some work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. Okay, what's going on? I think there's a problem with the Animus. Nope, it's working fine. I'm pretty sure it just ejected me I'm when it- I'm pretty sure you should shut up. You ready to finally tell me what's going on? We have to stop them, Desmond. When they access that last memory of yours, they're just getting started. They want to change everything. The way we live, the way we think, the way we are. You've gotten the lecture from Vidic about what's wrong with the world, how we need order and discipline, so they're going to give it to us. Only we don't have a say in the matter. How? The Templar treasure. They think it... Miss Stilna? I'm here. I need you to upload Desmond's files to the database. Got it. Is it just me or is, he mis or is she missing a finger? I swear I see something missing every time when... She loads. Okay, come on. So what? You're using Talk me to, you. to find this Templar treasure? What do they call it? The Peace of Eden? Yes. Well, it's looking like it's at Messiah. So I don't know why they're wasting all this time with me. Why don't they just send their people to pick it up? They can't. It's not that simple. The artifact from Messiah, they had it. It was destroyed in the accident. Then what are they hoping for me? You know, for my ancestor to tell them? They're hoping he'll show them where the other ones are. You mean there's more than one of these things? Oh, Desmond, you have no idea. Is there a problem? Yeah, you're right. No one. Everything's Denver on my end. Then where are the files? I've got to move these files before he gets suspicious. We'll talk more later. Wait. What's that mean? Everything's Denver. It means everything's fine. Why Denver? It's a reference to Denver International Airport. There's an underground facility there. It's where the accident happened. Oh. Can I talk to you again? Can't talk to you? Can I keep talking? Aren't you tired? Nope, can't talk to you. Yes, I am, but I remember you can access this computer. So is someone gonna have m fucked with my bet my room again? In here. Oh, I didn't know that. But you hit Y, I can look around just like um, Altair. Okay, check and see if anything's new. Nothing. Except new vents. You know, that's kind of creepy. They got a camera in here to see me take a shit. I just now noticed that. Alright. Let's go back to bed. 
Yeah, I'm sleeping on the other side today. I slept on the other side for the last three days. The following morning. Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. And I rolled over. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not gonna let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't... It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? Match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? What your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books, letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax. I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no room for misinterpretation. There's always room. Touché, Mr. Miles. Now that I've answered your question, can we begin? I guess. This has been a weird... a weird transition. Again, like I said, I hadn't played this part, but I played a little bit. I, when we first started the first two episodes, that's when I actually started actually playing and everything. I want to see if I can still talk to him or steal something else off of him. Mm, nope, can't do that. How about access to computer? Nope. So yeah, it's back into the animus. And when we get back to Masyaf. And after, actually, we get done talking to, um, Amuale. Whenever you're ready, just or whatever the hell his name is. Or whatever the hell his name is. Uh, that's when I'll end this video. Which Finish him by breaking his legs, or by throwing him to the ground. Five minutes left on my recording tape. Okay. You guys always say don't kill the innocent. What is with these I mean, drunks and sickly guys? We have much to discuss. Them? Here we go. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be destroyed, but a tool. One that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then. Yes, I know. He dreamed and still dreams, like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do you mean? What do he and his followers want? A world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something to be learned, to be understood, to be embraced. He would force it and rob us of our free will in the process. Strange to think of him in this way. Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. Such thoughts are poison, 
and will cloud your judgment. Could he not be convinced then to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way through you. What was each killing if not a message? But he has chosen to ignore us. Then there's only one thing left to do. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. Indeed it is. A lot of people know what's going to be coming up. Please, in the comments, if there are ever are comments, please do not ruin this. Awesome, I get extra throwing knives. And it looks like again I got another sword. So I only got about two minutes. So I'm actually gonna end it here. Again, this one was a really short one. The next episode's gonna be a really long one. I know that for certain. So Thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave a like down below. Subscribe today. Leave me a comment. I'll I'll say you I'll give you a shout out in the com in the credits afterwards. Again, thank you for watching. Have fun playing in the dark. Audiomicro.com